guys sent me the most absurd Minecraft challenges ever. And I'm gonna do it. So let's get to it. Alrighty. Clearly, as you can tell, I'm playing as a doge. I kind of added a texture pack to it. It's basically all memes. Like, look at this. Goats are like mushrooms. If you shoot a duck, I'm scared of toasters. <laughs> what? After that, I found a ruined portal. Oh, what the? That's a doge. Nice. All right. What do we have here? Dude, I think I can basically go in the nether. I then found a village. <gasps> oh my gosh. All righty. What the heck? What is... Oh my... Oh my gosh, is that Squidward? After all that screaming. I made my way to kill the iron golem. Once I killed the iron golem, I was introduced by an interesting surprise. Okay. No, wait, wait. I got five doges, though. That's crazy. I then used these doges to craft an iron bucket to get some water. I also grabbed some wheat to make some doge bread. And then made another portal and went in. The heck, dude? Oh, red biome. Luckily, I do have boots on, so these guys shouldn't hurt me. After coming across not one, but two bastions, I found the quartz doge. The all-famous nether quartz. Look at this guy. That's crazy. After some time, this caught my eye. Oh, heck no. Where are these guys? What did they expect? <laughs> it's like a mini bandit. That's crazy. I went to buy him to buy him, not finding any nether fortress, when suddenly this happened. Oh, no. I don't know how I survived that. Come on. Please, please. No. Rest in pieces, Doge. All righty. As you can see, we are in one chunk survival. So let's just get to it. Like usual, I got some wood, made a wooden pickaxe, mined some stone, and made the necessary stone tools I needed. And then eventually discovered something cool. Got some lava over there. I'm gonna head over to the lava pool. So that's what it did. I made my way to the lava pool and found a cool little cave that had some iron and some coal. I then made a furnace and smelted all the iron that I could find in the cave. After a couple of minutes later, I had enough iron to make myself an iron bucket and an iron axe. I used the iron bucket to grab some water and make a nether portal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, your horses. Before I went to the nether, I found a cave that had a zombie spawning in it. This was gonna be useful to get unlimited amount of food. After that, I found some diamond. <gasps> what the heck? I'm taking this. And even after that, I found even more diamonds until I had enough diamonds for full diamond armor and tools. I then headed off to the nether. Oh, I was not expecting this. I thought it was going to be the real nether. I guess let's start digging. It's oh, no. Holy cow, dude. I'm risking it. What the heck? Luckily, I was able to box myself up and slowly but surely make my way to the blaze spawner and get enough blaze rods I needed safely. Now, all I needed was to get some ender pearls, and the best way of getting ender pearls was by trading with piglins. So that's what I did. I found some piglins, forced them to follow me, and made a little hole for them. Before I could trade with piglins, I had to get some gold, which fortunately, I found some gold ores in the nether. Now, all I needed was to trade, but before I did that, I had to, of course, almost give myself a heart attack attack. This was stupid, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. After that incident, I traded with some piglins, got some more gold, and did that over and over until I had the pearls I needed. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I'm guessing you guys are asking, where's the end portal? Is it even here? And well, if I come all the way down here, the end portal should be like over here. It's gotta be like somewhere in here, I think, right? Oh, no way! Hey, let's go. I filled the eyes of Ender and went in. After several minutes of destroying the end crystals, it was time to beat the Ender Dragon. Let's do it! Axe actually does so much, holy cow. Pop you there. It's purging. Well, yes! It is! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Challenge completed! Alrighty. For the next challenge, we have get three stacks of sea pickles. Be an elder guardian while chanting sea pickle. And then burn the sea pickle in a ritual. What the f? 
All right, let's do it. Like usual, I grabbed some wood, made the necessary tools I needed. Killed some cows and farmed their babies. And then found a ruined portal that had some useful stuff in it. Soon enough, I found a village. I grabbed the useful stuff that was there, like some hay bales for food and even iron from an iron golem, which later I made into an iron bucket to grab some water. I then found a lava pool, which then I made into a nether portal and went into the nether. This was all part of my plan because if I could get some blaze rods, I could turn that into some potion by making a brewing stand. But instead, my luck was unbearable. I kept finding bastions and nothing else. So I took my chances and went into the bastion. After some time of being terrified, I found some goodies. Oh my gosh, let's go. This is a jackpot. Even after that lovely gift, I thought it was best to get out of there as soon as possible. After a couple hundred blocks later, I found the nether fortress and I even found the blade spawner, which then I went on a rampage of getting as much blaze rods as I could. Once I had enough, I built a nether portal and went in. It was now time to adventure in the ocean. Soon enough, I'd eventually find a coral reef. Oh my gosh, it took me way too long for this. Holy cow. I grabbed as many sea pickles as I could find and headed off to eventually find the ocean monument. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, let's go. Before going in, I grabbed some blocks, loads of doors, and some water breathing potions. Alrighty. Absolutely terrified because this is actually my first time going into a water thingy thing. Let's just go in. I just need to find a room, dude. A few moments later. Oh, well, I found one of the rooms. Yeah, okay. let's just infest this place with doors, dude. After covering the entire room with doors, I had this sweet spot of killing the Ender Guardian. Oh, I actually got him right there. Boys trapped in this little hole thing right here. Eventually, after a long time of punching and eating, I killed the Elder Guardian. Oh my gosh, wait, hold the phone. No shot. And I got the sponge sheds. Oh my gosh, finally, dude. I slowly made my way back to base safely. Oh my gosh, I can finally go. We did it. Let's get out of here, Chads. After making my way to an island, I built the ritual. Elder Guardian, Elder Guardian, Elder Guardian. Are you pardoned? Bye-bye. I'm never doing that again. <laughs>